Yeah, so there's a lot of interest, obviously, in microglia here at the meeting because um, <clears throat> when you look at genetic changes in the human genome that change your risk for developing Alzheimer's disease, the genes that those genetic changes occur in, many of them in the brain are either restricted or exclusively expressed in microglia. So people have been really interested in microglia. So the particular session I, ch I chaired was one, was a session that had, um, you know, a lot of talks about microglia. One of the really interesting observations in that session was, was actually presented by my co-chair, Christian Haas from, from Munich, um, where he's looking at other genes that are upregulated in microglia. One of the most famous of these is, is, a, is a gene that encodes a protein called TREM2. If you have certain um, genetic changes in TREM2, certain mutations in TREM2, this can increase your risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. When TREM2 is activated, um, it's proteolytically processed and it's, it's a cell surface receptor and its extracellular domain has cleaved off the cell surface and it can be detected in cerebral spinal fluid in the brain. And what Christian has found is that in patients who have familial Alzheimer's disease, this upregulated expression of TREM2, which reflects TREM2 activation and in turn microglial activation, can occur decades before overt signs of disease in these familial AD patients. So that's a very, very <clears throat> interesting marker. Um, I think actually the same thing happens for one of the TAM receptors for the, for the axle protein as well. So I think if that analysis was done with soluble axle, you'd probably see the same thing. That was one of the really interesting um, results from that particular session.